On today's show, we're joined by a brand new guest, Tope Abarude, and he shows us how to create this beautiful hot air balloon design using a Qualitex bubble. We learn how to put tulle inside, how to create these beautiful little bows, and how to add value by putting clouds down at the bottom. And we also find out a little bit more about Tope and how he got into the industry and his 30 year journey. <laughs> Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we have a very special brand new guest. Yes, it's Tope Abalude. Yeah, correct. Yeah, from, <laughs> from Balloon Inspirations. And also today, well, you can probably guess by his T-shirt, look, Qualitex. He's a big Qualitex fan, so he's going to be using nothing but Qualitex today. But anyway, Tope, welcome to BMTV for the very first time. Thank you very much for having me, Greg. I've been very excited about this. I, I only ever hear good things about you. Oh, that's very kind. Ev everybody, everybody, even Julie says nice things about <laughs> you and, and she says nothing nice about me ever. So that, it, that's, that's really, Julie really... Julie is lovely. I find that difficult to believe. So yeah, what have you, you been doing you, wrong? You don't know her that well. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Julie, sorry. Anyway, as a new guest, I, I like to find out a little bit more about your story, your journey, how you ended up to be in the industry, how long you've been in the industry, and then a little bit about your, your business now before we get on to creating something using this bubble, but we'll get on to that. So, how much time do you have? Well, let, let's not make it too long. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you can give us a concise it's, it's sort been, of how you got into the industry, really. But it's been, you know, it's been a journey of close to 30 years now. Wow. Yeah. And um, I, I like to say I stumbled, stumbled into yeah. the industry because it wasn't, it wasn't a plan at all. My background's design. I studied um, architecture and design in um, um so yeah, he just sort of started, a uh, friend invited me to come and help decorate a wedding. Okay. And gradually I sort of got into it and um, found balloons along the way and the rest is history. That was really concise. I mean, that, that was like very, very <laughs> I'm concise. I'm sure we're going to get to talk a lot more we will, about we'll, we'll some, talk as we you go know, along. But some... you were saying yesterday when, yeah. when you first did that wedding, it was, wasn't even balloons, was no, it? No, no, it wasn't balloons at all. I mean, we, we, were, we were design students. Mm. And so in those days, you just literally can make anything. And I still probably can, craft, yeah. crafting yeah. and stuff like that. And we, I remember the main focus of that particular wedding being fans. We mm. made these really big, ornate fans. Yeah. And we just sort of had them around the room. And a bit of fabric, um, you know. And um, yeah, that's what we predominantly used. And then I discovered balloons after, you know, a while. And then sort of then abandoned everything else and just focused on the balloons. Yeah, yeah. And then you've been doing that for nearly 30 years yeah, now. Yeah, close to 30 years. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank so you. you've obviously worked with Qualitex for a few years yes, as well. Yes. And what have you done with, with Qualitex? You've been an instructor. Uh, I've been an instructor for, oh, I don't know how long now. It's been, it's been you know, as close to that 30 years as, yeah. as, as possible. Um, so, yeah, um, and I have had the opportunity to do, to do a lot of uh, work outside of the country. Mm -hmm. I've been to places to teach um, for Qualitex. So yeah, it's been yeah. a good ride. Yeah, fantastic. Well, we are using just Qualitex balloons today, but I have to say, you are the best smelling guest we've ever had. <laughs> and I know everybody's laughing, but as I, I've got to tell you all, all right? I was walking through the warehouse and everybody was saying to me, oh, that, that new BMTV guy is, is lovely. He smells lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's just, but everywhere, everyone's like following you around. Oh. So you are definitely the best smelling guest. And I've never said that. I don't yeah. think I've said that before. I've never said that before. <laughs> anyway. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you are very welcome. Thank and you. The, the, the perfume, if anybody, are they aftershave or... You're not what? allowed to say that. Uh, I, I am not allowed to say what that is. So <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm not allowed to say. Anyway, what are you going to make? Um... We're going to uh, make a hot balloon bag, hot air balloon Oh, God, basket. you know, no, wait a second. We didn't talk about your business okay. and what it is now. <laughs> okay. So tell, tell me more about your so, actual business and what you do day to day now. Uh, balloon Inspirations, mm -hmm. we do uh, mostly decorations, mm -hmm. event decorations, but we've got a shop front as well. Mm -hmm. So if people um, want to buy um, um, your odd few balloons, like a, a pickup or delivery, we, we offer that from the shop. Okay. 
and um, yeah, um, and it's mostly decor yeah. that we do and what we promote. Um, a lot of the work we do, you know, I mean, I don't remember the good old days. I, I used to carry a portfolio to go and see my clients, you know. Uh, these days, my, my portfolio is on Instagram. Yeah. I just show what we do constantly. And that's on, quite on a portfolio as well. If you. if you have a look, go and check out Topaz Instagram. It is amazing. Thank and, you very much. And I think the, the, the business name, Balloon Inspirations, is absolutely suitable. Thank and, you. And there's this... I, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not an expert in design. I don't know what makes something look good and what makes something look. Why is that? Why does that not feel as good? But, but you know at, when it's good. Exactly. <laughs> and I look at every, all of your stuff, and it is all your work is is amazing. Thank you. And I was saying earlier on about the the one. It was really simple, putting a balloon on the back of each chair. But from up where you took the photograph. It looks stunning. It, it was a really, even though that was so simple, but also, I mean, all the organic stuff and classic decor. You do a lot of classic stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, so it's really interesting. I've got a question for you. Go okay. On. A lot of people getting into the industry. Yes. What, I don't know, two or three tips would you, would you give people regarding anything to do with getting into business? I think the key thing for me, and this I tell anyone I'm teaching for the first time, is education, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, get the, the fundamentals right, get the foundation of any business, really. Yeah. Any business you're trying to get into, is, you know, get the foundations right. And a, a lot of uh, people, um, you know, I think COVID's probably responsible for a lot of everyone and their dog now can do balloons. Yeah, you know, yeah. you get go on Amazon. Am I allowed to say that? Well, you just did, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go, you go online, I should say, and get a... Um, uh, a, 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 an inflator yeah. and get some cheap balloons yeah. and before you know it you know you, you call yourself a, a, a balloon decorator i think it, i think it's important to um understand design yeah you know yeah. and that's the foundation of the, a lot of the work that i do mm. i understand colors i understand shapes i understand how to use them mm. when when it's supposed to work together or not work together my head's always ticking design yeah, yeah, you know yeah. so i think that's what's key uh, mm. for, for most young people who want who are wanting to get into this business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. That's, that's really good. But education is key. Because you, you do your own education as well, don't yeah. you? You do your one-to-ones. Yes. And if anybody's interested in learning, and you probably will want to be taught by Topi by the end of this, um, where do they go? To your website? Yeah, just, you know, send me a DM on Instagram. Okay. You know, uh, go to the website, you know, and any, you know, any, anywhere, just send just me. Just get in touch. Yeah, just get in touch. And what is your website? Uh, Ballooninspirations.com. Okay. That's the go. website. And but you're probably going to want to, you're going to have a flood of people wanting to learn from you after this. I hope, I hope. <laughs> anyway, right, let's get to it. What are we going to make today? Uh, we're going to start by making um, a hot air balloon basket. Okay. A really, really simple design. Yeah. And you will find most of my work is simple. I like simple things, you know. Elegant, simple, you yeah. know, straight to the yeah. point. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, uh, you'll pick up a tip or two. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, let, let's do let's it. Let's get on with it. Okay. So... Um, I can be your assistant. I can pass you bits and pieces. Thank you very much. Or you much. can pick them up yourself. It's completely <laughs> up to you. What do no, we need? No, no, I'm happy. Um, we'll start with a, a straw. The big straw. One of the big straws there. Um, oh, and some someone. of... Yeah. Oh, do you need oh, more? Oh, yeah. No, I don't need more. Just, okay. just the right. one. All right. So, um, and uh, some cello tape, which should be probably under there. The, yeah, here we go. This one. Thank you very much. So these jumbo straws are what we're going to use for the uprights for, for uh, the hot air balloon basket. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead here and... Um, And secure uh, this um, this ribbon is called elegant satin mm. ribbon. You can get that here. Yeah. I, I picked uh, this off your. All off right. Your, okay. Cool. Off your <laughs> um, warehouse. So, literally, uh, get a bit of tape and tape this uh, satin ribbon. You're as good as the um, products that you use, and yeah. so. You know, you can use cheap ribbon or you can use the slightly more expensive ribbon, but every little bit you add 
you know, adds to the value of what you're you doing. You get what you pay for. You get what you world. pay for. Absolutely. I love the way you put that. They say you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> so literally just uh, tape that in a diagonal fashion over the straw and just wind it around. Again, it's just finding little ways to elevate what you're doing. Um, it's really nice to watch, actually. It's <laughs> like that whole spiral thing when you watch a spiral outside a barbershop. Kind barber of therapeutic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So at the end of it, I'm just going to cut that off and tape it like that. So that's how we're going to treat the upright there. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that there and um, you will see, I mean, I don't want to go, I didn't want to go through showing you this because it's very easy. This is a basic uh, cake board. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've got a container, mm -hmm. whatever container you want to use. There are some. You've got. I've been looking on your, um, on your, uh, in your warehouse. You've got some beautiful stuff out there. You okay. Know, in in forms of uh, containers that yeah. would really look good for okay. um, this uh, design. So what I've done there. I don't know what is, they are. That's <laughs> terrible. I don't know what they are. So what I've done there is I've already um, put these three there yeah. and used. Uh, hot glue mm -hmm. to secure them um, and so I'm just going to do the last one so that you can see and then just a little bit more glue to make sure it's held in place there so I've got the four corners already do you use the glue guns a lot I do okay yeah I've got I've got a whole lot of glue sticks and glue the glue gun there just while that's, um, if you are a bit um, unsure as to if it's going to hold, you can go in there and just add a bit of glue like that so that it runs down the sides, yeah. but holds it better in place. I see, okay. Uh, yeah, like that. So we're going to put the basket aside for a second mm -hmm. and we are going to be using the 20 inch deco bubble. Um, I've been told that a lot of people don't use this. I have no idea why this is great, especially for this mm -hmm. um, purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. Um, little tip here <clears throat> is do not open your bubbles until you're ready to use them. Yeah, yeah. It's got a moisturizer in there that keeps it uh, moist because if you have your bubble um, out for too long, it starts to dry up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, bubbles have been around a while now, haven't they? <laughs> yes. They, um, I mean, some people have built their businesses purely on bubbles. On bubbles, uh, I know this. Yeah. I remember a few years ago, everybody was putting feathers inside it, yes. putting tool inside it, yes, putting yes, 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 whatever. And um, confetti. And one of the things that hasn't <clears throat> a lot of people haven't been using recently is this tool. Yeah. And I just think it, it gives that kind of wistful you know, feel it is nice. to it. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. why I thought I was going to bring this back because we've been doing this for a while. Now, what was that interesting thing we found out today about the wingspan? Yes, the wingspan. Apparently, we are all, this is your height. So from fingertip to fingertip, that's the same as your height. So we tested it, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And it's not entirely accurate. Julie was spot on. Yeah. Five foot four, five foot four. Yeah. Um, Alex is six foot, what are you, six foot four? Three, and it was came out of six foot seven, did I say? Six five. Six five. Yeah. And then I was a couple of inches, and you were a couple of inches yeah, bigger. Yeah, so, yeah. So I think it's the more of... I think it's the more intelligent people. They've got a wider ah. <laughs> Sorry, Julie. Is that Sorry. what it is then? <laughs> Julie sat right over there. She's got to take the abuse because her phone went off earlier on, didn't it, Julie? Hmm. So basically, I, basically what I was what was happening was I was trying to find out how much tool I was going to put in there. Okay. There is no um you know, there's no sort of um, science to how much you should put. I just yeah. did um, three wingspans. Okay. So I do one, two, three. Okay. And cut that off. And I'm going to proceed to put all this inside my 20 inch bubble. Now, there is. Um, 
a, a, a method to how you do this that makes it go quicker. Okay. So you just tend you roll yeah. that in, slide that into your bubble. Now, once you've got that first bit in, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you open your bubble up. And then go to the very end of the bubble mm. and pull that in. It's like putting a duvet cover on your yes, duvet. Yes, exactly. Bed. Yeah, you've just got to know how to do it right. So all the time, you go to the very end. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you scrunch a bubble because it, it always It will always come out, yeah. Beautifully. Yes. So that's how... You know, you can see that if you if you grab it there, you have more of a shorter yeah, pull, yeah. which that just then takes a long time for you to do. But every time, if you go to the top of your bubble, and then and then go to the lower end, and you just slide that much in, yeah, yeah. you know, and that's how you would um, do that. Okay, now, perfect. Um, because of time what i have done is prepared one oh. earlier <laughs> <laughs> so and then you tied that with yes a i tied that with a 260 cube like that and so literally we're going to go ahead and slide that and you can see just open it up slightly it will take it oh wow so that is so that glue is really yeah. good. So what I try to do as well is try to position my first uh, the because you can see the line to the bubble. Yeah. So round about, the, you know, where the first two are going to be yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in whatever you use from here to secure it, you know, you can use uh, cello tape mm -hmm. or you can use just a little bit of uh, um, balloon bond. Mm -hmm. To, to secure it so that it, it stays in place. Okay. Um, so what are we going to use? We're, we're going to use cell tape. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cell tape re re works really well on on bubbles. So it depends what you're using it for, doesn't it? So mm. cell tape works fine for some things, but yeah. for some things it just doesn't work very well at all because you need the balloon bond or the stretchy balloon stretchy tape. Stretchy balloon tape if so you using want. The right yeah. Right, right agree. yeah, you're correct. You're correct. Um, it's uh, because of the you know cost of balloon bond mm. I, on this occasion. I just I, I think you know I can get away with the cellar tape. Um, so to make sure that this bit is centered mm -hmm. there, and then of course there, that, that's your guiding. Yeah, you know. And once that's secure, you can do that and just tip. I guess because it's not holding a whole lot of pressure. No. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Let's see, it's no longer sliding up yeah. and I've only just used two places there. So, um, but I'm going to go around and secure that with the tape all the way around. So how did you learn to do this design, say? Did you, were you taught how to do this by somebody years ago? Did you just experiment and play um, yourself? A lot of my work is experimented, yeah. but also you keep your eye open. They say there is nothing new under the sun. Yeah. So regardless of how good a designer you are, you get your inspiration from somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. And so it may have been, you know, I, I gather a lot and I file it away in my head. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes the, the, the um, result of that is that when I'm working, I don't, I might not even remember where some, yeah. of, some of it came from. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's very important. I think, you know, like we were saying earlier, education, very important. You know, whenever I go to Whenever I go somewhere to teach, you know, I, um, and I've, you know, like I was saying, it's had a, a, a great opportunity to be a lot of places. And I will go and sit in someone else's class. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, all I do is pick up a tip yeah. that just changes my business completely. Yeah. Yeah. The other, other guests that we've had on board that have been in the industry, on board, on, on the show that um, have been in the industry for years, 
they have um, said exactly that. Yeah. You never stop learning. You never stop, you never stop learning. learning. Yeah. As soon as somebody thinks they know it all, you're done. That's really. When it, that's yeah. when it all yeah. goes horribly wrong. I, exactly. I like to think about it like masters of today have to be students tomorrow. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's the way you you know. Absolutely. You keep going. It's like the whole helium thing. When yeah. when that happened, was it ten years ago now? Yes. When yes. The heli first helium shortage. Overnight, almost, the mm -hmm. industry had to change it how it to, thought. Yeah, yeah. And the people that were able to do that yeah. and th almost throw out everything they'd been doing for yeah. years, yeah. they're the ones that succeeded the most. Basically, I think as an industry, we're quite good at that. We're quite yeah. good at adapting. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you've got to. You've got to. I mean, look at what happened in the last couple of two, three years yeah. with, with COVID as well. Yeah, it's exactly. Like you had to change the yeah. way you worked. Yeah. How was COVID for you? Did you do a lot of deliveries? Or a lot yeah, of I, I, I remember a story about that, or I remember, I, was, I have all these little anecdotes to something. Um, so um, I was out in Nigeria teaching for Qualitex as, as well, okay. actually, yeah. Uh, with two other, I was, I think, with Keith. Yeah, I was out with Keith and um, Ishani from mm -hmm. Qualitex, and we were, we were teaching out there. And I literally got back into the country on the last BA flight into oh, wow. the country. And um, I was happy because I wanted a break. And yeah. I, I just like, oh, yeah, they, they, we're, we're on lockdown. We're going home. I was bored after two weeks. Yeah, you know? totally, yeah. I was like, oh, what to do, what to do. Yeah. And so I went to the shop, you know, loaded my van with all sorts of balloons and started doing um, hyperlapse videos of balloon stacks okay and right. just my instagram just went off yeah yeah, yeah you know yeah. so it was crazy i loved it we closed for four weeks yeah. and we thought we were coming back to an industry that would die and it clearly didn't so it went the other way <laughs> yeah and I, I loved it when i was coming into work and most people weren't because the roads were so clear yeah and oh I, yeah i could drive like a maniac it was, it was fantastic was don't say that on tv of course always within the speed limit oh yeah, yeah. okay yeah. good <laughs> <laughs> i've got you don't worry <laughs> right okay so next we are going to uh make um i'll tell you uh, one really lovely find again from your warehouse was this beautiful um teddy bear which is oh, sort yeah. of what yeah. what i it's wanted cool. I like yes. The colors. It's yes. So cute. yes yeah. and you will see that this is why again i went um pilfered this off your all right okay <laughs> off your i will have to take those off stock so remind <laughs> me <laughs> i'm sure they've been uh, i think i'm sure they you know i did tell oh um, right okay, yeah okay. so yeah oh i'll um, forgive you so <laughs> so yeah just sort of sit that in there Very nice. Um, yeah, and it, it works with the colors and everything, doesn't it's it? So, so simple. Because I found that, I you know, decided I was going to use a little bit of purple, you know, because you bring that into the rest of the design as well. And, um, you know, I create a little bow. Yeah. Um, so what I have done is I've got two pieces of ribbon, mm -hmm. uh, iridescent ribbon, like that. See, when I see new things, it also gets my creative juices flowing because some of what um, I'm putting into this, you know, I've never done it quite like that as mm -hmm. well. So, like I said, I saw the teddy and then, oh, I could do this and yeah, I could do yeah. that. So, so um, literally, I've got two pieces of this ribbon, this um, elegant uh, ri uh, ribbon as well. So make a crisscross like, like an AIDS ribbon okay. type of yeah. thing and uh, squeeze it together. And I create another loop like that, slightly bigger. Yeah. And another loop like that, slightly bigger. Okay. So I'm just gonna literally squeeze this at the center like that mm -hmm. and tie really secure this really tightly there you'd use both bits of that ribbon yes to do that. okay yes so um it's gonna go there and sh literally cut like a diagonal on my yep. ribbon just to finish that off nicely so now um Kind of like the way this um, 
ribbon catches, you know, the light. And yeah, just the iridescent. Yeah. I, like, I like iridescent mm. things. <laughs> got quite a lot of iridescent balloons, obviously, now. I, for a second there, I thought you were going to say, I have a lot of iridescent clothes in my <laughs> wardrobe. <laughs> like, okay. We well, can't get iridescent clothes. Can't, you can't get those jackets and things. I've not got one. This is true. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to have that. And that, you know, it's really here about um, covering our mechanics. Okay. You know, so you can see the tapes, even though it's not very visible, but yeah. you still want to finish it and off. And you've got and the top of the stick. Yes. And stuff. So you know, yeah. so literally uh, put that on a little bit of glue. This is a low melt glue. Yeah. He says, and, and just sort of um, put that on. And hold it for a second you while could use it dries up. Balloon bond or you a could use dashes yes, or yes, whatever. Yeah, if you yeah. Any to. of those kind of uh, um, adhesives will yeah. look good there. So why do you like so, the glue guns? Is it just because? No, it's, it's just quick and handy at the moment. This, you okay. know. Right. So I, I probably would use um, it when I make this at the shop. I would use um, stretchy balloon tape. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just roll it over. But yeah. Yeah, I just think the um, this glue gun and that, that that glue stick, it just you put it on and it, yeah. it dries really quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Which is quite secure when it mm -hmm. it's done. Very nice. It's taking shape. So what's the piece that you've done that you can remember in your nearly 30 years that you're most proud of? Oh, wow. <laughs> I know you've done a lot. Yeah. Do you know what? It, and, and, you know, when people ask me this question, it's, it's hard because, um, you know, some of the work, especially if it's a big piece of work, it's, they're quite personal. Yeah. And they've stayed with me for months, even before I execute them. So, I mean, the ones that come to mind is... is um, and I was saying this to Julie yesterday as well. I did a, a medieval themed uh, party okay. for, I don't know, close to like a thousand guests in, yeah. in America once. This was years ago. This was my first ever big job. So I, that's got, that holds a really special place in my heart. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's uh, one for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess you're proud of your early stuff as well, but then when you look back at it, you think, oh no. Um, I'm not saying your, your early <laughs> stuff. Yeah, bad, yeah, don't show that. Well, but that shows growth. Exactly. You know, exactly. and it's a perspective that you yeah. look at it, you know. Um, for me, it's like I look at it and I smile. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I won't be doing that again. Well, it's like everything. We've always been an online business. Yeah. So we look back at our first website, which is nearly 20 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Nearly 20 years ago. And you look at it and you just think, what? But that's the way websites were back then. And you just shake your head and think, wow, the, the usability was not there. The navigation was not as good. Yeah. And it's... Um, but it worked for, for it did, them. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's, yeah. You know. Just think mobile phones didn't really exist. Our smartphones <laughs> didn't exist when we started the business. And True. So, yeah, it was True. all on a computer. All right. So, uh, right back. So, what we've done as well is that we're going to create like a, a you know, your hot air balloon. When you're theming, I like to think about everything that's potentially associated with that okay. theme. This is a hot air balloon basket. The next thing you think is, is clouds. Well, yeah. the next thing I think is, is clouds. Yeah. So we can have this set in a base of clouds. Okay, is that what know? these are for? That's what that's for. I'm, I'm going to yeah. assist. Thank you very much. Thank you. So um, these were basically created uh, using uh, the split duplex. So um, it's uh, two five inch balloons and I've got some white and then for depth, I've added a bit of ivory. Because if you have it all white, sometimes you, you could do, I mean, I didn't, if he was a boy, I may add a bit of uh, um, sky blue to it yeah. just to make it, um, to get, again, to give it more depth. And that's what the ivory is for. So we're just gonna have this all sort of around
Do you ever put the glue directly onto the balloon or I, would that burst it? I try not to, even though it's low melt, yeah. you know, I, I, well, <laughs> that was you, you jinxed that. <laughs> oh, my fault. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to blame you for that, honestly. Um, so yeah, um, low melt, um, it, it's low melt temperature um, glue. And yeah. that wasn't supposed to happen, but it did anyway. It was. So. We were trying to demonstrate to everybody that you've got to be careful with the glue. <laughs> I like the way you think. That's what we're, we're gonna get. To we're do. gonna get. <laughs> but I'm still gonna keep this using. This is fully rehearsed. Yeah. We've yeah. done this 17 times already today, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Well, if you want to not risk that happening again, you know, you could use uh, stretchy balloon tape, or. Uh, balloon bond but most of the time because you're going to be doing I mean if you're working from a shop or working from home um, you will um, have time to to redo it if that happens yeah, it's not yeah. it's not a big deal they're balloons they pop you know yeah that's something that people sometimes forget <laughs> they, you are working with balloons yeah and working with balloons they, they... and it could pop so you do yeah Twice. So, <laughs> how did you first get involved with Qualitex then? Um, yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, what I did was um, uh, the very first, it used to be called um, the European Balloon Convention. I don't know if you okay. ever heard about it. It happened in Paris. So, just for me, when I get into something, I want to go to, yeah. uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for the best of, you yeah. know, stuff. That's yeah. what I do. So um, when, I, when I started working with balloons, I started to find out, okay, who does this? You know, where are they? Who was the best in the business and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. I sort of stumbled on Qualitex and they had on a show called the European Balloon Convention yeah, yeah. then, and it was in Paris. And those days it was quite a lot of money, which I couldn't afford, but um, I did go, you know, and, um, and uh, it was interesting. And while there, I was sort of, you know, um, hanging out with, you know, that's where I met Chris, Christopher Horn for the okay. first time. He, right. he was competing. Yeah. Um, and I think there was uh, Jill McGregor. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you yeah. Ever met yeah. her. Yeah. And, and, and they were competing on that, uh, in that show. And, um, you know, you get to talking to people and they're like, well, the next big ones in America. It's like, oh, okay, let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> so I went. I went yeah. to Chicago. And that was my first competition, and I, I placed third. Okay. And then wow. I think um, I think a week or so after there was uh, the international party show it used to be in Birmingham then. Okay, yeah. And I also came there and I I did a centerpiece competition and I came first. So I saw sort of probably then f uh, fell on the radar. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and um, you know my my first sort of real connection with. Um, Qualitex was through De Debbie McGregor, Debbie, McGee. Uh, Debbie McGee. Yeah. Hi, Debs. Hello, Debs. Sorry. You forgot your name, uh, Debs. <laughs> Debbie's my best friend. Don't do that to me. Well, clearly I, not. Yeah. Clearly not. She won't be anymore. I don't know. Not after this. I was like, I love Debs, Debs to bits. Yeah, she's, she's lovely. And so, yeah, and that's, um, you know, Deb Debbie got me sort of involved with, with Qualitex and yeah. that. The rest, you know, is, is history. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Hmm. Yeah. So just a few clouds around around the base of mm -hmm. it. And then to finish off, um, I like to um, add, you know, a bit of uh, chill into, into it, just okay. to give it a bit of... Um, a bit of texture. Yeah, a bit of texture, love. So architecture, you studied architecture. <laughs> yeah. And you end up doing, doing balloons. balloons. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you would have enjoyed being an architect? Um, I did practice for a few, for a little while. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I mean, I did practice, and yeah, I mean, you don't study like something for six years, and because um, you, long time, you it? yeah, it's, it, it is a long time, and you have to go and do the masters uh, yeah. d directly. So it was six years of of uh, design school, and that's um, you know, I use a lot of what I have learned yeah. in those days. Um, 
because like you know we're saying earlier you know understanding the principles and elements of design Mm. where uh someone coming into the industry i mean you know we 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 have a little sort of um uh, a curriculum that we we teach through Mm -hmm. the qba um uh, qbn um cba designation that's you know, it's quite compact, yeah. you know. So imagine, I mean, I spent six years every semester learning about design, what to do, what not to do, how to use form, shape, colors, and all of that kind of thing. So it comes intuitively more to me than it would to someone who's just, you know, yeah. beginning to learn. Yeah. And that's what you probably see with my work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I could go ahead and sprinkle some uh, stars on here. Yeah, yeah. But to finish that off, I would just... Um, so is this sort of thing that you would sell in your shop? Yes. Okay. We, we sell this uh, for, say, uh, um, Say Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. a lot uh, of uh, these hot air balloon yeah. things for Valentine's Day. Um, and, you know, baby boy, baby girl, you know, yeah. that sort of thing. And you can see how, I mean, I know we've been chatting and talking, but you can see how quick, yeah, you know, this, yeah. this all came together. So it's a go-to design for us. It just looks really good. And of course, the people that buy this don't know how this is made. They think it might be something very special that you've got to buy from, yep. a, I don't know, a specialist balloon place, which I guess yep. the balloon sticks kind of are, but yeah, it just looks amazing. Thank you. And so don't forget that you need to hide that. Hide the mechanics. Yeah, right? hide the mechanics. And then we're just going to take one of our little clouds and just finish that off at the bottom there. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, so that's it. Absolutely perfect. Let's move these out of the way. We don't need those anymore. <laughs> no. There you, there you have it. Well, Tope, thank you so much for that. Now, as a guest on BMTV, we ask a question of the week every week of everybody, and hopefully they leave some comments down below on, on Facebook and YouTube. So what would you like to ask everybody out there this week? Could you sell this? Okay. How's that? Well, it's a yes or no answer, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, let's have the comments. Yes, okay. no, yes, no. Okay, all right. Well, a yes or no answer. Yeah. Could you sell this? Leave your comments down below. I promise you my feelings will not be hurt if it's a no. Okay. All right. So you're looking for some, some feedback. Some really, feedback. Really, yeah, honest okay, feedback. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, leave your comments down below. So, okay, thank you so much for that. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on TikTok as well. Stay happy, stay positive, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Bye. Bye.